hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm going to show you how to make sorrel syrup sorrel concentrate and also sorrel puree for sorrel cake this recipe is a very easy two in one recipe i'm gonna be using four ounces of hibiscus flowers you can call it sorrel zobo Below. I'm going to start by heating up 4 cups of water, adding 2 sticks of cinnamon while I go prep the hibiscus flowers. Since the petals are going to be consumed, I feel it is very, it is a smart thing to remove anything that does not belong there. See? And when I am done, I'm going to give the flowers a proper washing to make sure I lose some of the sand that is attached to the petals. If you are using fresh petals, they may not contain sand, but if you are using the dried ones, the petals have sand and we don't want to eat a sandy cake. So I'm going to wash the petals properly and let the petals sit for a bit. It's not going to lose the, the color and the flavor. So when I'm done, I'm going to just pick them out of the water like so. This is just the first step of eliminating the sand. See, we do not lose a lot of color. So this is nothing compared to what we can get from the petals. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cloves to the water and then the petals. You can also add more spices of your choice. I'm going to be adding a lemon peel and let it simmer for 5 to 10 minutes. The lemon peel is very high in pectin so it is not just gonna flavor it but it's gonna help thicken it so i'm just gonna let it cook on a very low heat for about five to ten minutes see the sound that came out of the petals after 10 minutes i'm gonna turn off the heat and let it cool down while it steeps so if this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed Please click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, like and share the video. Thank you. So I'm just going to cover the pots to trap in the heat while it steeps. I was really very busy so I let my sit for more than an hour. So I'm just going to remove the peels and the sticks. In order not to transfer the sand with the petals, I'm going to pick up the petals gently so that if there's any sand the sand is gonna be in the liquid look at the very dark rich color see isn't that pretty the petals also have not lost all its color I'm gonna carefully strain the extract so that sand doesn't get in if you want to enjoy your sorrel syrup and also your sorrel puree you have to try as much as possible to remove the sand. Well, if you don't believe me, let us take a closer look at the bottom of the pot. See? That is sand. Sand. That's what you would have been eating or drinking. So, it is time to make the syrup. I'm just going to measure it so that you know the ratio of fluids to sugar so i got a little bit above two cups don't forget to carefully pour the fluid into the cup so that the sand will remain at the bottom of the bowl so to the extract i'm gonna be adding a cup of sugar i have less than a cup of brown sugar that is the only one i have at home right now so i'm just gonna add some white sugar to make it a cup of sugar so you can use white or brown sugar and you don't have to use brown sugar and white sugar together so i'm just gonna let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes on medium heat until it thickens and don't forget to stir it once in a while so back to the petals it is time to blend it so i'm gonna blend the petals add a little bit of the extract or some wine to blend your petals try not to add too much liquid i have also noticed that when you use the hand blender you don't have to use a lot of fluid let me use this opportunity to send a shout out to some special people to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best thank you i love you and god bless you 
in case it is too thick you can add more wine or more of the extract so this is how you make your sorrel puree for your sorrel cake very easy one good thing about making the sorrel puree you don't have to do it ahead of time you can do it that same day and you're good to go so back to the syrup i've been cooking it for about 30 minutes i know it looks a little bit runny now but don't worry when you cook it a little bit or you let it sit and cool down for a while it's gonna be thicker it's gonna look syrupy but if you cook it a lot longer it's gonna be thicker when it cools down don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy what you see and please don't forget to subscribe if you have not thank you so that's how you make your sorrel syrup in case you don't know how thick it is see this is how you know it is very thick and the flavor is very rich so when your sorrel syrup cools down pour the syrup into a container and store it in the refrigerator you can use it as glaze you can dilute it to make your own sorrel zobo drink or you could add wine to make sorrel wine this is a lot of drink in a little bottle so in case you want to make your sorrel drink zobo drink zobo low bisap just add some syrup to water mix it adjust it to your taste and your drink is ready you can design it however you want it you can add wine or a little bit of rum i have a video on how to make zobo drink sorrel drink sobolo i'm gonna leave the link in the description box you can check it out later isn't that pretty enjoy to create sorrel wine to spray on my sorrel cake after it is done i'm gonna add equal parts of sorrel concentrate and wine give it a good mix and then pour it into a spray container to spray on my sorrel cake when it is done i'm gonna leave the link on how to make sorrel cake in the description box so whenever you want to make your puree and concentrate why don't you give my recipe a try you would not be disappointed it is delicious and sand free so thank you guys for watching till i see you next time stay safe stay blessed i love you bye